Hi guys. So we are currently in Paris at the Marriott um, Hotel. And it's the end of our Euro trip, <laughs> kind of. So we wanted to tell you uh, basically all the things that happened to us throughout this Euro trip, the bad things. There's gonna be another video later about all the good things and the pictures. Basically why we can't be adults. Yeah, well she's an adult, I'm not yet, so. I'm still a kid, that's, that's my excuse, I'm still a child. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna tell you basically from start to finish, all the karma that's basically hit us throughout this trip. It's just been like, think of like, when you're traveling, you think of all these things, anxiety, am I gonna miss my flight, am I gonna do this? Everything bad that happens when you're all traveling, the worst everything. Things, like your worst nightmares. Happen to us. Like us. <laughs> that just happened to us. So stay tuned. So we start. Okay, so June 9th, Isla and I are at BWI, Baltimore. It was in the vlog. Yeah, well, there's a vlog, our, Basically, our Boston we had a vlog. flight, Baltimore to B Boston. Bar Barcelona, I cannot talk, with a layover in Boston. Yes, that okay, flight. that's our flight. There's a whole vlog, so go to our check channel, it out. check it out. So yeah, so basically when we get to Boston, we find out that our flight is delayed by like, what? Four hours, I think? Those More three. or less, three or four three. hours. Um, and we were like, okay, it's delayed. We're gonna get into Barcelona a little bit later um, the next day, but it's fine. So we get to Barcelona and we also like, I should say we switched airlines. So our airline from BWI to Boston and Boston to Barcelona were two different airlines. But the lady said at Baltimore, she said, oh, it's cool. Your bags will go all the way to Barcelona with you. And yeah. we were like, oh, can you assume that we have to like recheck, uh, recheck ourselves in in Boston? She was like, no, your bags go all the way. So do you, like you're good. And I was like, okay, like lit, don't worry about our bags. We thought it was like- Yeah, so basically, from, you could tell from that, when we got to Barcelona, <laughs> we didn't have our bags. <laughs> no luggage, so we were like, okay, maybe it's a little late, it sometimes gets lost in the airport, especially when you're switching flights. So we went to the Iberia, like, check people, and we wait, and we wait, and we're like, we can't find our luggage. And waited. <laughs> and waited, and we can't find our luggage. And they're like, okay, it's coming, another conveyor belt. We're like, oh, bet, great. So we look, and we wait, nothing. And so we go to the people, and the people are like, give us your passport, your information, so we can, like, search it. And there was like no record of our back. Like they just couldn't it was so weird. find like, it, like at all. Like it was, it was like so a lost bizarre. in the abyss, basically. And Isla calls her mom and was like, we lost our luggage, we're freaking crying, out, crying. she's crying. And I'm like, shit, she's crying, what do I do? Like, okay. And my mom is like my advocate, like she does everything for me. So I'm like, let me call my mom. I call my mom, I am bawling. And we're like, our luggage, because I basically, when I packed, I basically looked like I was going to college. I packed all my clothes. So I had no clothes. Isla had clothes, cause she had like a carry on and she had clothes in that. They had to and on off. top of that, it was Sunday. So all the stores were closed. Oh, also I had no makeup or contacts. So I wore glasses for four days. Oh yeah, so we kind of like switched. I had makeup and stuff, but she had no makeup and I Priorities, had no glasses. Like, <laughs> so yeah, so basically lost her luggage. And we called people, my parents talked to them, my mom cussed out here, people in there, cause that's who Fatima is. And, they were just like, okay, we'll call you. It's supposed to come in a couple of days, we'll call you. So we were living off of our other friend's clothes and then on Monday, so the day after, we bought a bunch of bought essentials. clothes um, and essentials and stuff. And so a couple of days passed and we had to tell them like, hey, we're only in Barcelona for like four days, we're going to Paris and then we're going to blah, 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 blah. Nothing coming and my parents are calling every day. Her parents are calling every day and they just keep saying, we can't find it, we can't find I it, no I remember we record. were most scared because like basically like we were just like on the go every three days and so I had a fear that yeah. our bags would never get to us. And then on top of that, our friend, his dad lost his luggage with the same airline, Iberia, and he got his luggage a month later and we were trying to avoid that. Like, Imagine like backpacking through Europe with no clothes yeah, and like, like buying new shit and like Europe's expensive so I'm just like- my mom like mailed me stuff. Basically my parents and her parents called every single day, nothing. We leave Barcelona and we get to France. And we get a, I get an email saying like, we found your luggage, it's on the way to Barcelona. We were like, uh, no, we're in France. But we were only in France for a day. So we were like, okay, it can't be sent to France because we're going to Amsterdam the next day, so. So basically my mom calls people yeah. at the airport because she knows, pe knows people who know people. So she calls someone and said, hey, like we're, our kids are like not gonna be here in like, Barcelona anymore, so they're somewhere else. And so they gave us, we gave them our like next address and then the guy said, okay, we can bring them to Amsterdam. And we were like, great. So the second we got to Amsterdam, a transition, we went all the way to the airport to get our bags from the airport. And then we got them, but it was, 
definitely it was at, it was six days late or a week later. So yeah, we lost them on yeah. Saturday and we got them the following Friday. And I remember we were really sad it, because though. like our first week was like our warm weather week. We like our first yeah. and last weeks were our warm weather week, and all of our cute like summer clothes were all in the bags, and we were so sad. Like I had lunch. outfits prepared and it was Barcelona like and the. Oh. That wasn't even the worst of like what happened to us. So honestly, out of all the so, things that happened to us, that's probably the bottom of the list. I actually totally agree with that. Like it's so probably sad. the bottom of the list. Just, that's, like, just wait. Happens, like that's sad. Just that's wait. The worst thing. So okay, we got our bags. We were okay. happy as hell. In Amsterdam, we stayed at a hostel because Amsterdam is expensive. Basically, we went to this hostel and we read reviews online called Dutchie's Hostel. Oh, should I have added them? Whatever. Dutchie's Hostel. It was actually it was a really great hostel. Besides, yeah. like what happened to us there, like the actual hostel itself was super social. Met really <coughs> nice guys that were all staying there, and like it was a, it was a cool experience. Our first night, really shit went down. Um, so we were staying in a room, it was like a bunk room, and there were, there were four bunk beds and two people on each bunk bed. Math. And so, so our group was four people, so we were already half the room, and the other half of it was other people. So every night our room was filled to capacity. And so the first night, my friend Raya, I was on the bottom bunk, she was on the top bunk, and then Sydney and Maddie were on the other bunk. First night, slept, all fine. Next morning, we wake up, and I had like a few like bumps on my hand, and so did Raya, and we were just like, oh, it's just like, Mosquito bites, or I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, it was just bites. And they're kind of itchy, but I was like, oh, whatever. And the second day we woke up, <coughs> and Raya's like hands and the back of her foot, like her ankle, were like super red and inflamed. And we were like, oh, damn. And I had also bites all over my arm and up and down my arms. I had like all these bites too. And I was like, oh, what, what is this? And Raya's like, okay, it's bed bugs. Like she had a feeling from day one that it was bed bugs. And I was like, I, I was like, I don't think it's bed bugs because Sydney and Raya, sorry, Sydney and Maddie didn't have any bites no, on yeah, them. Yeah, nothing. And I was like, if it's bed bugs, then everybody would be infested with them because they just like attract to like warm bodies and warm blood. So they'd go to everybody, we all would have a problem. And like it was only me and her that had them. And I was like, it seems a little bit weird that only we would have them. I mean, we told our parents, our parents were like, probably not bed bugs, maybe just like a spider bite or something because there's no way that Again, like two people out of eight people in a room would have bed bugs. And so we were like, okay, something's biting us, but like, whatever, maybe it's just, you know, I know what we reconciled it with. We were just like, oh, whatever, it's nothing. Definitely I was a skeptic. She kind of had a feeling about it. And the last night, so for, so the last night we were there, um, same thing where I was very paranoid and I was like, oh, you know, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Woke up again. I had a lot more bites. Oh, I remember they were all up my neck too. They were all on my neck. They had gone to like my stomach, my, my like lower right back, <laughs> my legs, like they, they were spread everywhere. But, but again, my bites were lucky. They were just like small, like mosquito bites, and then I say I scratched them and they became like scabs. They were so itchy. But Raya had a bad reaction to her bites and her whole body, like where they were, like she had like patches, like inflamed, like red spots. And, and she's like, big. she's like pretty light skinned, so, so you, you can, can really see like. They were huge, and they were on her face, oh, on yeah, her, yeah. on her legs, on the, her, her ankles really were horrible. Like they were bright red. Like it looked like a major overreaction. And then like the last night as well, like I got bites, and especially because I, I don't know if I told I told Maddie, but I didn't want to tell them. Is when I woke up, I went to the bathroom. And there was a bug on me, and I like shoot it off because I hate bugs. I hate all types of bugs. And it was like it fell in the toilet, and I was just like, oh my god. And it looked like a bed bug, and I was like, holy shit. Like there was a bug on me. I was felt so grossed out. I took a shower immediately, and then what I did was I like aired my clothes and I cleaned my suitcase because they can travel with you through suitcase. So we all did that. And I remember like we were looking up bed bug signs like on Google. And there are so, there are images of different like ways they can appear. Or one image like on Raya's bunk that's just in the top bunk, and like the wallpaper next to her bed was like falling apart, and there were like little like holes in the wall and stuff, and like I matched an image on Google of like where bed bugs could hide, and we were like, oh, maybe they were in there. But I still didn't believe it, so I still wasn't totally sure. Plus, I th I saw so. I, I believe that like there was some on mine, because basically if there's like splotches of like red on the bed, it means, cause like you kill them, you roll around, you kill a bug, and that's why. So I saw like lines of red, and I'm like, oh my God, like they're there. And then I just saw an actual bug, so I started to freaking the fuck out. And then I started getting bites. Maddie got nothing. She was like immune to everything. It wasn't as bad. I was, out of the three of us, Raya was the worst and Isla than me. Um, and then reaction Maddie, wise, reaction yeah. wise. And then when we got to Berlin, we went to a doctor and he actually gave us medicine. He called it like the magic medicine. So we got medicine and we started clearing up. Then came Split Croatia. It was our last stop. 
we had an Airbnb, so it wasn't like a hostel, but there were multiple people living in this like big apartment. So we we thought it was fine, you know, it's our last day, it's our last uh, place stop. stop, and it's warm out, we're happy, we're like, yes, like the beach. I go to bed, and throughout this whole trip, I've been waking up at like between 4 to 6 a.m., and I don't know, I literally don't know why, it's like reverse, like, jet lag, it makes no sense. <laughs> and I wake up, and there's, I see a bug, and I'm like, shit, shit, shit. And I like start scratching, and I like, um, I kill it. And then I like freak the fuck out. I'm like, oh my God, like not again, not again, not again. And I'm freaking out and I saw, I see another one and I kill it and I'm itching everywhere and I'm, I'm scratching and scratching to the point where like, oh, I'm wearing long sleeve, but to the point where like up here is like, just like raw skin. And like, I got a really bad allergic reaction. Like it was horrible. Like the way Raya felt in Amsterdam was the way I reacted in, um, split but what was weird was okay bed bugs come at night that's like what they, so they don't come in the morning but when i woke up i woke up maddie because we stayed in a bed and i was like maddie maddie they're here again i took a shower i was freaking out i cleaned my suitcase again and i like i saw them like there was this one that was literally this big and i took my shoe and i killed it and then i killed it on the bed and it like smeared with blood it was so disgusting i was just like i am not sleeping here like no and it was like like look you can see you see that? These are all like the bites. Like it looks like, if anyone's seen Black Panther <laughs> and anyone knows Michael B. Jordan in Black Panther with like his chest with all little dots, that's what I look like. <laughs> Just less attractive. And literally they're everywhere. And actually like today, they started appearing more. But because we left, so Raya had the cream and so did, as Maddie had some like other cream that I was using. I don't have any cream, so I've been just, oh, I need to take ibuprofen by the way. Um, I've been taking like ibuprofen and like, but I've been itching a lot. So now I wear long sleeve pants, long sleeve shirts and long pants to bed and socks so I don't itch. Um, because I'm like darker skin than both Isla and Raya, they can't see it you as really much. Can't tell. It's just basically me that sees it and I get like really annoyed. Yeah, but we honestly can't tell. But um, they're like, see, look at that. Look at that. So like, just the lighting. Oh. Like I only got two big ones on like the back of my leg. Like the second time. This is the second um, time. Um, second time. And they're they're like way bigger than like the ones that ever had before. Yeah. They kind of look like rise too, and I was like, oh damn. And, <coughs> but they didn't feel like the ones I had before, so I thought they were spider bites because they didn't feel like the ones that we'd had yeah. in Amsterdam. Because the one in Amsterdam was like really like I don't know if you can see like they were like really small and they're all kind of clumped yeah, and then together. Yeah, I had a big one. I was like, it's a spider but the, bite. Yeah, the reaction I, I got. Whatever it was, there was something that bit yeah, us, so that, we left the Airbnb. We we left the Airbnb. We got our money back, and we were like, hell no, like we're not staying there anymore I was almost near tears I was in such a bad mood I was like calling my dad and my mom and I was like I want to go home I'm done I'm over it like I'm uh, we've been through fucking hell and back if you thought that was the end <laughs> no <laughs> and then today <laughs> okay basically <laughs> she can tell you this it it hit Isla the most this was the last and this the was first like my straw break, was my breaking this point. was her breaking point I kind of I was over it okay, basically oh my god I can't, I'm gonna cry <laughs> oh my god so we were at um, so last night our flight got in at like 2 a.m. Oh, like 1.32. Um, got Wait, to this hotel. backstory. We're going home. Yeah, we're going home. So we but went from Split to Paris. We had to stay in Paris overnight. Because our Paris flight, like... to BWI. Yeah, because yeah, our flight, like, whatever. Couldn't get a flight yesterday. And so we were, we were planning to stay a night in Paris at a hotel that's like 10 minutes from the airport. We can literally see the airport from like our hotel. We're staying here for like a night and then we're gonna leave this morning at like whatever, 10 for our flight that was at noon. That was like our plan. All good. Woke up, you know, in the morning. Oh my God, what the heck? I was gonna lie. Woke up in the morning, like plenty of time. Um, all good. And basically the night before, the guy had given us a bus schedule. So he said there's buses that take you to Charles de Gaulle you know, every 20 minutes from the hotel, you know, grab a shuttle, like, you know, you know, at the certain times, and then go to the airport. We were like, perfect, 10 minutes away, like, you know, we're good. So, we, so we, at 10 a.m., we're like, oh, we'll take the 10, 10 a.m. shuttle, because we're two and a half hours before, plenty of time to catch our flight. We were totally fine. So then, we're waiting in the lobby, and there's like, a lot of people in the lobby, all with their suitcases on, like, you know, like, all ready to go to the airport, obviously, because, like, it was an airport hotel. And so everyone in the lobby had their bags, so we're like, okay, we're in the right place, it's 10 a.m., ready for the bus to come. And then a big ass bus pulls, and I was like, damn, big bus, but I guess a lot of people are gonna go to the airport, like, makes sense. So, like, 30 people all pile in, put our luggage to the bottom, all pile in the bus, we're chilling, sitting in the bus, um, and we start driving. And basically, we were driving for like half an hour, and I was so confused the whole time because, like, 
we were so close to the airport, but we were driving for so long, all like kind of circling the airport vicinity. And I was like, I don't know what we're doing. Like why we're not going to the airport. I don't know what was going on. Sydney was like sitting in the aisle. So I was like, oh, talk to ask people next to us if they're going to the airport. And Sydney was like, yeah, we're going to the airport. Granted, said, no one spoke English. So when I said I spoke, airport, they kind of just went, yes, airport. And we were like, oh, okay. Like, like that's like, simple like, enough. Like you they, know? they knew basic English. Um, and so basically, we were like, okay, I was going to the airport, like we're in the right place. I mean, the bus driver is just like being confused, taking a different route, even though we were kind of like confused as to why he was doing that. And then it was like 11.30. Like we were getting pretty close to when we needed to like be at the airport. And the guy starts going on the highway. And we're like, okay, great. And we I remember we had maps on our phone looking at where the guy was going. And we're like, okay, if we stay on this road, we'll get to the airport. But he kept turning or going somewhere else off the road. And, we, and my anxiety was like freaking out at that point. And then at one point he gets on the highway and just goes straight down the highway. And I was like, huh, because the airport was in the exact opposite direction. I was like, oh my God, like what is this guy doing? And so I asked the people in front of us, I was like, yo, what airport are you going to? And they're like, oh, we're going to Orly. And I was like, wait, what, you're going to Orly? And they're like, yeah, we're not going to Charles de Gaulle, we're going to another airport. Basically, Orly's like an airport, it's like an hour south from where we were. And I was like, oh my God, kind of makes sense why the bus was so big because it was such a long journey, but like, what the hell? And so I remember I ran to the front of the bus and I spoke to the bus driver and I was like, excuse me, like, like we're on the wrong bus. And he didn't speak English, but some guys behind him did, so translating for me. And they were like, yeah, like, sorry, like we can't do anything about it. And I was like, I was crying at that point. Shoot. And I was wow. like, I'm so sorry, like we on the wrong bus. Like, can you just like pull over somewhere? We'll get out, call an Uber, like, I'm so sorry. And the guy was like, I'm sorry, you gotta sit there. And I just freak out. We go back to our seats, call our parents. It was like 4 a.m. there, I called my mom, and I was just bawling my eyes out. And I was like, we missed our flight. Our parents were like, okay, we'll figure something out. They hung up, I was just crying. I felt horrible personally, because it kind of was like my fault. Like I, I kind of was like, taking the reins of like the travel stuff. So I kind of led us to where we were going. Well, honestly, like you saw, if you saw a bunch of people in a lobby with like Luggage. suitcases, and we're right next to an airport, like right next to an airport, you're thinking, Okay, they're all going to the airport that's literally next yeah. to us not hey They're going to the airport an hour away from us and yeah. like I guess we should have asked like Going to Charles de Gaulle, right? Like I like, kind of confirmed, but we didn't because yeah, we, we did just it. assumed like literally we're right next to an airport Like I don't know why the hell yeah. is, are we going like to an like airport a all the way? From, like yeah. like, like it's a big moral of the story is just hour, confirm everyone <laughs> I yeah. just remember like we were on the bus, I was bawling my eyes out because I felt responsible so I felt like I had was a big screw up on my part and like our parents had to like fix all of our stuff and like And you obviously can't get a refund like so we had to buy like new tickets and stuff I mean like, luckily they had seats so we're taking the same exact flight that we're taking today but just tomorrow Yeah Um so we have a flight home and everything Um it all kind of worked out but I was just such a wreck and, I remember, and, we, and we went all the way to the other airport, which was like a bitch. And then we had to go all the way back. Yeah, the Uber I paid was $80. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Oh our my down god. point was the fact that we're, when we were on that bus ride, like going over there, obviously the bus couldn't stop because we were in the highway. We like had this feeling. We were like, this cannot be the right way. And like, we just woken up sooner, but like we, we just didn't. Sat and like, there, there, was, there were so many like things we could have done. And like, <laughs> it's like a big lesson. Yeah. Like, honestly, like. <coughs> There's literally no shame in asking someone, oh, like, is this the bus? And like, double, triple check everything in life. Because honestly, like, the smallest thing that you think would be so instinctual is so not. And we just, like, you know. Wise words from Milo, guys. But also, like, I just never thought that, like, another airport. Because, like, I've never been to Paris. My, this is, like, well, my second time in France. Because, like, obviously, we came to Paris through, like, our Euro trip. So, our second time in France. So, I, I just didn't think that, like, Hey, maybe the bus can go to another airport. Like I just didn't. I don't know. I, I didn't think of it. I don't know. Like That's I knew it was another airport, but I think just for me, I was just like, <coughs> oh, it makes so much sense. Like this is an airport hotel for we're like, this yeah, airport. we're right like, next to an airport. Called, like yeah. yeah. So I just assumed that's what it was. Obviously, lesson: don't assume everything. Double, triple check. We were, you know, taken not advantage of because it was totally our fault. But you know, like we we had you know resources <laughs> that we could have used difficult. and like. Yeah, we got played by the bus system. Yeah. So yeah. So tomorrow, um, for our flight, we're gonna wake up early again, but we're taking an Uber to the airport. No matter like the bad things that happen, like we did have a great trip. Yeah, I trip will, was so much fun. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll make, yeah I'm gonna make another video even. with like photos and videos of everything. 
this was basically the L part of our trip, but there is a W. We had a lot of fun with friends. Basically, we all the traveling was like shit. Um, so yeah. Basically, just double check everything. Be prepared. Maybe don't stay in a hostel. <laughs> So again, like double check everything, check your beds, we're staying somewhere with rapid turnover like a hostel. Yeah. Check, you know, when you're traveling, like all the names and signs. Bed everything. bugs won't kill you, they're just annoying as hell, but they can be cured after a couple of weeks. So I'm yeah. hoping like I'm hoping they can be cured for me. It looks so gross. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Please pray for us. Get us home. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're going home tomorrow. Please like, please subscribe. Comment down below if you've experienced really bad traveling like we did. Whether it was as bad or even worse.